Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another case of the Mondays. Today we're going to be tying the Low Tide Marsh Critter, which is a cool little fly used for some redfish, black drum, uh, I've actually caught snook. Kind of a nice little universal fly uh, to add to the box. Good color combination, real friendly to tie, and uh, definitely an effective piece to add. So, first off, what we're going to do is we are going to start with uh, your typical must add 3407 size 4 hook. I don't like to get too fancy with this particular fly. doesn't need any specific hook point or hook choice. Um, I just like this one because this is a good, fun, cheap, inexpensive uh, hook that's strong. Definitely will do the trick. Uh, the second piece that you are going to need to this puzzle is going to be some bead chain. Either size does not matter. Um, if you want it to sink fast, obviously go with something a little bit heavier with some heavier lead. If you want it to be obviously a little bit lighter on the presentation, mono eyes or a lighter bead chain. This particular fly, I'm using a large bead chain and we're gonna start that about pretty much the bead chain's length away from the eye of the hook. You don't want to secure that in first. Now, a lot of people do tend to use their eyes differently. I like to use the eyes as like a judging point, kind of where my fly is going to finish. So everything that I do with my fly tying for the most part actually has a point to, uh, of reference to where it starts, where it's going to finish, how I uh, put the materials in. Um, this particular fly, you're going to want to have that threaded as far or as little as possible. It's up to you. I like to cover the whole actual aspect of the hook. Um, pretty much into where, where the bend is. I usually leave a little bit for room. And the first thing we are going to do is actually tie in the rabbit zonker. So your materials for this fly are going to be bead chain, uh, rabbit zonker, magnum cut, tarantula brush, you can use a variety of different colors, and some silly legs. So really super easy, fun to tie. Uh, fly that definitely is going to add a little bit of pizzazz to your box, especially for universal fish species. Um, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to cut that rabbit zonker, um, and then you're going to secure that in. So you're going to turn the hook actually upside down, um, and how I do this is a little different than most people. I usually will actually try to puncture a little bit where the material is going to go through and kind of pinch on the hook to secure that in, take a few couple light wraps just to secure it. Then I actually pop this out of the vise and continue the full penetration of that rabbit zonker all the way through the hook point. Put it back in and wrap back over that material, secure it in and really nice and tight so that it doesn't move side to side or wanna spin on the hook. And you're gonna stop again right about the hook point. Um, let me readjust that so you can see it better. Then, the next part of this fly is going to be your tarantula brush. Uh, you're going to secure this in a variety of different ways. I like to start on the side of the hook closest to me. A couple good tight wraps on that metal piece to get it nice and tight, firm in there. And you're actually, as you palmer this, you're going to really try to pluck those materials and those silly legs out and really kind of, you know, make this as bushy as possible. And you're going to do this wrap, this palmering, probably about three to four times until you reach about the halfway point of the actual fly itself. And then you will secure that in and tie that off. Right about there. Push that material back, tie in. So more or less, you're about the halfway point. Kind of pluck those materials again, get them nice and bushy, get that buggy look. And then you're gonna get your silly legs and I usually start with two. You can do as many as you want. I prefer, you know, for it to have that less buggy, less leggy look from the silly legs. I like the natural stuff, the material that causes that, that kind of uh, look to it. Really fun way, easy way to tie these in. Come around the actual thread. You'll get about the halfway point. Whoops, let me try that again. Get about the halfway point of the silly legs when they're folded. And you're going to secure those in on the top and really get those in nice and snug so they don't want to flex backwards. So they should kind of have that little fun way wave to them. And then you're going to go back to your tarantula brush, really easy. Secure it back in. Couple nice good tight wraps. 
and you are going to continue to palmer this fly with this material until you get to the actual bead chain or lead eye wherever you started and get a couple good 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 tight wraps in there and then secure that in now i'd say after all said and done you have the op uh, option to turn a weed guard on to this with this particular fly for this particular setting i'm not going to we're going to be using a low tide so it's going to be marshy muddy not really grassy so you're not going to have as much to get hung up on and i'm going to finish mine so if you're fishing the grass or potholes or something that's going to you know cause for you to have a little bit of a hang up you know you can always add that weed guard in right there it's probably a good safe bet just in case all said and done that is your low tide marsh critter super cheap uh, material you know you're working with three separate materials tarantula brush magnum cut zonker and some silly legs and like i said this is a very functional fly for redfish for snook for black drum uh, i will recommend this uh, good black black drum fly if you do tie this uh, tie it with some heavy lead something that's going to push some mud or create a little disturbance on the ground they actually react to that very well so uh, thanks for tuning in. You know, you can follow me on Monday nights at 9 p.m. live. We will be on my Instagram live doing this uh, each week we do a new fly. And if you dis if you happen to miss that, you can check on to the YouTube channel where I keep that as uh, updated as possible. And anything I tie, I put up. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we'll see you around. All right.